hey guys welcome and welcome back to the channel happy new year to you all hope you guys had an amazing christmas and new year celebration it's catherine and adobe here again with another hairstyle tutorial video this is our first episode on the back to school hairstyle series so if you want to see how i made this beauty right here then keep on watching and with no further ado let us dive right in First, I will moisturize her hair with this cloth water. I recently started using this cloth water on her hair because she almost started losing her front hair and it has been helping out a lot, okay? Before you ask, I will write out the ingredients and the method of preparation on the screen. It is really easy, so <laughs> you're welcome. Next, I will go in with this um, leave-in conditioner by Shea Moisture. I will also distribute it evenly on her hair, massage it into her scalp all over, then brush out and comb out as well, just to, you know, just to prep her hair to begin the hairstyle completely. For this hairstyle, I'll be using Brazilian wool extension. This is approximately 49 inches length, but I'd say if you want to achieve exactly Adobe's length, that is the hairstyle length, then go for 40 inches. 40 inches will be perfect, okay? I'll be using a set of eight strands for each, six for braiding and twisting, then the remaining two for threading and corkscrewing, if that makes sense. <laughs> Next, I'll go ahead to section out some hair. I'll be using the curving method of parting, not the square method, if you guys get what I mean. So um, I'll be using shine and jam as well to slick down the hair and the edges, you know. So I didn't show this first one completely because I later, you know, took it down, then started from the back and went to the back to begin okay so this is it this is how far i've gone from the back and let me explain what's going on here okay so as usual i'll pat out her hair section out the quantity that i want to work on and after that i'll come out and then take the extension that is the six strands and braid onto her hair just a little bit like two to three steps not long not lengthy and then i will pick up the remaining two strands and start trading i will trade for just a tiny bit and tie to secure it so it doesn't unravel or something and after that i will put that aside put the two that i use in trading aside then comb out her hair okay i will just comb out her hair and even apply a gel there is this braiding gel that i'm using for this hairstyle which i'll be showing you guys later i apply the gel then put her hair in between the six strands of um extension making sure that the hair is well covered in the extension that is the brazilian with covering up her hair then start twisting in the anti-clockwise direction and after twisting to a point i will start you know kind of threaded again with the two that i've set aside just in a very spacey way like this and i will thread to a point and then screw like in form of the cock screw the whole cock screw thing <laughs> yeah i will thread to a point and then pull pull the two down and it will just form this cock screw this beautiful cock screw illusion if that makes sense and when i get, when i achieve the length that I'm, i want to achieve i will go ahead and thread again then tie to secure it so earlier on i did mention that 40 inches of the brazilian wood length will be enough but seeing the leftover from this cross screw i'm not sure it's up to nine inches so i suggest you just leave it at that 49 inches okay so here is another illustration but i'll leave you guys i'll just let you guys to watch this by yourself without me interrupting with my talk so just watch
I do get a lot of comments asking me how I get Adobe to sit down through every hairstyles. Truth is, Adobe loves looking good, like this babe. <laughs> Whenever I show her a very fine hairstyle on my phone that I want to make on her, even though most of the time it's not even like exactly what I want to make on her, but you know, just to prepare her mind, just to get her mind ready of what is coming you know whenever i show her she's always excited she's always eager and looking forward to me making the hair for her on this particular day on this particular hairstyle she was the one that requested okay not on this particular day because it was like days prior to the day that i made this hair she had been like telling me she wants unicorn hair she wants unicorn hair and to be honest i don't even know what that is i don't know how unicorn hair looks like i wish i know i would have given her what she wants but i gave her this hairstyle and she was happy about it she was like unicorn hair unicorn hair she kept on telling everyone that needed to hear that she have unicorn hair on so if you have a fussy child that don't like her hair being touched at all truth is adobe was once like this i said when she was a year and two years old she was like a bit fussy she wasn't like so much into hairstyle so i used some of this method that i'll be mentioning for her i would suggest if you have um fussy child that doesn't see true hairstyle like show her a very fine hairstyle on your phone even though you don't know how to make that one even though you have no intention that's not what you want to give her show her something very fine on your phone and you tell her oh look at princess princess hairstyle you know i do ask her would you like to make princess hairstyle you know just show her and you might be surprised your child will like it and you tell her okay we're gonna make this sometimes you can even bribe her by telling her you buy her favorite snacks that snacks you have been denying her of having even though it's lollipop you know you just giving you giving her lollipop on just that day will not kill her okay promise her her favorite snacks if possible give her while in the process it won't kill her okay there's no crime in doing that and also give her her tablet to watch her favorite cartoon or even turn on the tv you know all these things might help you never can tell so why not try out this method and hopefully with time your child might adapt so guys we are done with this part so right now i'll go ahead to start cutting off the s's but i'll be leaving the two strands that i use in threading and tying um the knots and tying it i don't know if you guys get me that was because that is because this hairstyle almost didn't turn out how i wanted but keep watching you understand what i mean so i have finished cutting out the essays but leaving the two strands that i use in threading so um right now i have i think i have threaded i have done one design on the other side so right now i am putting these um colorful bands you know just for some colors and pop <laughs> yeah and after that I will start um, this threading process yeah this is what I mean by this hairstyle almost didn't turn out how I wanted okay I never wanted this part but the reason I am now creating this part is because the hair is not as long as I wanted it to be though I wanted it to be short I wanted to be able to put it into a bone but after I was done after cutting out you know the essays I realized that it wasn't gonna be able to make just one bone like tied to the center if you guys get me so that was why i decided to um to introduce this style this method here where i am you know tying you know threading this corner i threaded the two sides i've already threaded threaded the other side like this why i am doing the same for this side leaving the middle leaving the down like that hopefully you guys are getting me okay so to avoid this part if you don't want to do this part because actually this whole process you know gave this hairstyle an extra um decor an extra style you know and it made this even more beautiful but if you want to avoid this whole process if you don't want to go through this hassle make yours longer okay make the cost longer 
so instead of the 49 inches that i use and even the 40 inches that i almost advise you all to use instead of those inches you might even go as long as 60 inches just for yours to be a bit longer so you can be able to put it into a bun without this whole extra style that i made here and after that i went on ahead to cut out the remaining excess that is those two strands that were that i was leaving on each of them and the one that i use in threading i cut them off and use my lighter to burn the ends just to make sure that it doesn't unravel just to secure it put it in place if you get what i mean I'll go ahead to pack the hair together and tie with a band and of course I had to beautify the hair with this um, butterfly clip you know just to add some more color to add some more pop to the hair and look at her <laughs> I went on her hair to lay down her edges with shine and jam of course and you guys this hair looks so good like it looks so good on her it looks it, it looks simple it's not bulky you know it's not um long just short minimal perfect for back to school okay just perfect for the season yeah and of course adobe loved her hair so much like she was just telling everyone that needed to hear my unicorn hair my unicorn hair my unicorn hair we couldn't hear the last of it so if you've watched this point and you haven't subscribed to this channel i don't know what you are waiting for if you haven't given this video a thumbs up this is an opportunity to do that and with that being said i think we'll draw the cutting here See you in my next video. I love you still, Bye -bye. and you know I always will till the end of time. I won't change my mind.